Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you like what you see, um, the look that I came up with, I wanted to try some products that I had not tried yet, or maybe even give maybe one or two a new chance. Um, but I wanted to do this before closing out 2019. And so, yeah, please check out my product review and tell me what you think. All right, let's get on to the video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, the notification button, all that good stuff. But we'd love to have you. I do want to say thank you to one of my subscribers, Gina RCC. Shout out to you, girl. She sent me a box for Christmas. And there's some products in here I have not tried. So, huh, guess who sponsored a lot of this video? One of my subscribers, Miss Gina. So, yeah, I've got a mix of stuff Gina sent me, some stuff I bought myself. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. But I'm going to try all this. And I just ripped my fancy Jeffree Star box, of course. So, I got this one during the last uh, mystery box sale he did. But it was like an iridescent, like white and pink reflective one. So I've never bought a Jeffree Star mirror. So I'm going to use this today and see what I think of the mirror. Oh, and also thank you to Gina RCC. Um, if you've been following me for a while or subscribed to my channel, you know I love bears. So this guy is adorable. It's from Copper Harbor, Michigan. Isn't he so cute? So anyways, he goes on my makeup desk now with my other little bear figurines. I love him. But I did not have a bear bobblehead. I love him. So anyway, so thank you to Gina for everything, girl. I really appreciate it. And I hope you had a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. And I hope 2020 is the best year ever and um, that we grab it by the balls. I also wanted to try this. This is from Juno & Co, right? People have been raving about this stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it came in my mystery box. It is called the Moonshine Miracle Cream. So I'm going to put this on first because I like putting a moisturizer on my face before I start my makeup. I love this. I think this is the fanciest jar I've ever had of facial cream. But yeah, people have been raving about how good this stuff was. So now your girl owns some. All right, so I'm going to start with that and put moisturizer on. The reason I do this is because I have dry skin. Very dry skin. Okay. Feels really good. So I'm glad I got this. Really happy. So now that goes on my makeup dress too. It's it's a uh, I would say it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's like a thicker cream, so it doesn't feel watery. But it I don't feel greasy or anything. It just makes me feel like cooling, moisturized. It feels really good. Let's go with this infamous poreless putty primer. This I'm nervous because like I said, I broke out and I don't know. If it was this or something else, <sighs> should I just go with my fingers? Ugh. I'm so nervous. But this stuff was like talked up so much that I had to give it another go. Come on, mirror. Look at me sleeping on my. Oh, this is a good mirror. I can tell what they mean by. Um, when they say it's blurry though, cause it puts like a, I guess a sheer coat over your face is how I would explain it. So that's the difference. So this is with the primer, this is without, and I can tell the difference. So yeah, tell me in the comments below, can y'all see the difference? I feel like I can see more of the pores deeper over here. And over here, it looks smoother. So if y'all aren't familiar with Dragon Beauty, this is by another YouTuber influencer named Nikita Dragon. And Nikita Dragon is transgender. And I think pretty much formulated this originally for... Um, to cover like the how they would 
how men who dress like women, they start having the beard coming in. And so it would, I guess, keep people from seeing that. You can use it for different areas of your face you need to conceal. And if you have dark circles, um, it's good to go in with like a darker, like a red, reddish orange colors like that. Some people even use lipstick, I've seen. This color is like making my eyes pop. <laughs> uh, but it like corrects the color. So I'm just blending that in a little bit, like smoothing it out. And then I'm going to go in over the top with foundation and concealer. And we'll see if it kind of hit it a little bit better. Okay, so the foundation I use, I just use Revlon Color Stay Full Cover Foundation. The shade is 240. I use a matte foundation. All right, so that's what it looks like. So I covered the orange. What do we think? Did it do better on the circles? Keep in mind, I have really bad circles. <laughs> lucky me thank you dad thank you dad for my circles but my foundation is cute i still see some orange but that's okay i'm gonna put bronzer on and all that good stuff plus i've got it all mixed on this sponge probably wasn't smart but let's be realistic ladies most people aren't switching sponges when they're getting ready at home using like four different sponges so let's let's just keep it real all right so that's what we look like after the dragon beauty what do we think did my circles improve i think they did but i still need concealer for sure so I'm going to go with my Jeffree Star Concealer. The shade I use for this is C6. I'm hoping in 2020 that Jeffree comes out with a foundation line. That will be everything because I feel like he's just got makeup figured out. Like whether you like him as a person or not, I just... I feel like his makeup is it. I think everything complemented each other. That orange went away. I don't know. What do we think? What do you guys think at home? I don't look... Like, for me to have really dry skin, I feel like my skin looks still, like, really moisturized. Don't y'all? I think it looks good. Let's do this setting powder. And this is cute. It's literally for your under eyes. It's meant for that. I don't remember ever seeing one that's strictly for your under eyes. I just always buy setting powder. And the shade is sheer. I love this little container. I think it's so cute. Alright, so we'll see how that does as a baking powder. Again, it's super cute. Not fill in the brush, but I mean, they threw it in. It's extract. You can't complain about it. So this is a contour I just recently started using. So I would consider this a newbie um, that I just started at the end of 2019. I like to contour with this brush. Call me crazy. That's what I like to use. So instead of like drawing on myself, I like to do this and the way I have control of what I put on my face and where. But yeah, this is by Tristique. But this one kind of like to me blends very well with blush because it almost gives you like a brownish red tone if y'all can see that and i don't know I, th I think it looks more natural who am i and at the bottom it does come with its own brush 
I have tried using it as you can see, but I can't, te can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> I actually honestly feel like my face feels smoother and more moisturized than it normally does. I just wish I knew, like it feels so soft right now. But um, I wish I knew if it was the elf, if it was the moonshine, or is it just how they both perform together? But I might just switch to this new routine because it feels really good. I don't feel like, I don't know, I feel like I look younger. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Cute? Okay. Then what I do is I come back. I love how I tell you this, like anybody gives a shit what I do. <laughs> so yeah, I like this brush because you can just kind of, I like that I can like, because it hasn't, <laughs> I can't talk guys. Y'all know I'm stupid. Okay. I can do like a precise line going down, but then I can also lay it down and kind of start blending down is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So anyway. This is going to be so fun to edit, by the way. Yay for that. The creature is in her habitat. She is focused on snatching that nose. my pterodactyl impression the creature has formed her nose to the desired shape okay. oh <laughs> <laughs> guys what is wrong with me I have had no alcohol marijuana nothing I've had nothing. Is that what's wrong with me? Maybe that's wrong. Let me just close this back. This is my favorite part. Oh, she thinks she's something. Yeah, so when I was on vacation, I gave my grandmother a makeover. She's 94. Hashtag grandma. Um, so she fell in love with the bronzer I was using. So I gave her mine, which was butter bronzer. So I was like, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. You can have a grandma. I got another one. So this one is Sun Kiss Bronzer. I think the other one was just called Bronzer. I don't remember. But so now I'm going to use a new shade. Same brand. Hello, 2019. New shade Butter Bronzer. I love this brand. If you guys do not use this stuff, hmm, you're sleeping. My 94 year old grandma. Approved it. <sighs> Smells so good. I could butter me biscuits. Um, for those of us ladies that have the extra chin for extra loving, I do a little bit of this, you know, a little bit, a little, a little bit of this, so we don't have the harsh color like, you know, how, like you see those chicks where their face is orange and then the neck turns white. So I, I do this, I like blend it, but by doing this, the double chin starts to go away a little bit. You kind of tuck it up a little bit, make it darker. That's just what I do, you know. You don't have to care about me. I care about you, you know what I mean? I think I missed filming, guys. I'm over here just living my best life. It's like when you're not filming, you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to film anymore. I might be done with you too. And then once you start recording here again, you're like, ah! you know what I mean? <laughs> oh God, help me. Maybe I need some alcohol. That's what it is. <laughs> Thank God nobody's in my room with me. I'm just going to be putting this jackassery on YouTube. That's all. That's all. Look at her. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Little, little bronze goddess. See her? Wow.
Okay, and then the areas I just brightened a little bit, the T-zone areas, that's where I want to try this Elf, what were you called? Not the Poreless Putty Primer. This is the Elf HD Powder Soft Luminance. I'm going to just go at the butt end of this one. I like that color. I like that it's a different shade. It's more of a, like a light, 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 light beige. But then the setting powder, so then it kind of like, I don't know, I still get to brighten my under eyes, but then it still does brighten my face, but not like, I don't know, I feel like it's more natural to the bronzer, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is that, um, Ox Eye Four Tip Tattoo Tint Robe Brow 48 Hour Tattoo Four Tip Liquid Eyebrow Pen in the shade Coffee. And again, I got this in the Juno and Co. Um, mystery box. So, but it doesn't say Juno and Co. on it, so I don't know. They must, I don't know if they make this or they support this or what but i'm gonna try this I brush my brush my naps in my eyebrows like this is it on my skin you saw how light that is that would go on my grandma probably because she's got like the lighter brown so i'll probably put that in a giveaway or give it to somebody or something but it's too too light but i'm gonna see this through then I'll paint over it or something. <laughs> All right. I am going to switch to my other brow product to finish because this is driving me batty. That's cute. See, that's my shade. And that's what the other one looks like. It's... They look a little messy. I'm going to carve them out with some of my concealer. All right, now that I got my eyebrows cleaned up, I'm gonna do this Alomar. I just broke into this like a week ago. So this is another new one I've been trying out. It's Alomar blush. So I use this color. This palette reminds me so much of Chick-fil-A. Does it not, guys? So I call this my Chick-fil-A palette. But Anyway, I use the metal color. The other two are... Um, well, not only are they orangish, but they're shiny. And I don't really do that for blush unless it's a topper. So, anyway... So this is Alomar. All I do is kind of blend it up with the bronzer and the contour. And do the tip of my nose, my chin, just to add some color back. I blend it with the bronzer up there you know just get some my face to be uniform that's about it um let's get into some eyeshadow so i'm gonna try this guy like i said this is the paulina palette this is by a company called blush tribe they are i think they were in the uk i remember i had to buy it from another country i think it was the uk though i'm almost positive go open it up okay miss thing i didn't see i didn't even know what it looked like guys i just bought it because it i was supposed to be in that collab well okay greens pinks and purples miss paulina Whew. what can i do this is my type of fun time palette I'm going to go in with the color Angel. 
Oh, she's pigmented. She's pigmented. She's pigmented, guys. I think I'm going to do pink and purple, right? Why not? Why not? Wow. 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 Miss Paulina by Blush Tribe. So, yeah, this is a brand I might be uh, repurchasing if the pigment is like this. Now, I do remember it took a while to get. But, I mean, if you're not in a rush. So, if I don't build the color up too much, I can do a very soft pink look. Or <laughs> I can build it up. But anyway, so I'm actually going to do this as like my light color since there wasn't really much other light colors other than neon green. <laughs> but I'm going to do pink, pink and purple. I'm going to go in with this. I think it's aubergine. It's another matte shade, but it's purple. Get that purple. Woo! All right, so now I'm going to go back with that pink and I'm going to try to blend it over the top just so they come together really well because I feel like that purple is like, I'm here, baby. I am here. And I want the pink to be like, me too, sister, me too. Yes. Mm. Do you see this color right here that's calling my name? Mm. It's called Thingaling Thingaling. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do is a half cut create. If I even need it, I might not need to. It might be light enough. I might not need to. All right, so I'm going to take my setting spray and I'm going to apply that color. I'm going to lay it down and we'll see what we come up with. I think it's so pretty. I love this makeup look. I don't know why I feel like I got to whisper so the makeup doesn't hear me. Get excited. Oh. So pretty. She's so pretty. Honey. That makes me want to cry. I don't even know why. I just love it. I know I sound stupid, but damn, that's pretty. I love that. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, settle down. Let's clean the under eye area. Oh, I love that. Hi, my name's Gina. How are you? Okay, subscribe to my channel. Okay. That just made my whole day. I don't even know why. Does makeup excite you guys like it? I don't know. I told you guys, when I do makeup, it's just like I play, I have fun, I enjoy it. And this has been an enjoyable eyeshadow palette. I am like legit obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's true. I'm going to do... I'm going to start with the angel on the under eye. Alright, so I got that pink down. Now, I'm going to deepen it up with the aubergine color. Then, I'm going to take that gorgeous, beautiful fingling shade. Uh, we're going to work her around.
Oh, I'm gonna do Ofra. In the inner corner. In the brow bone. We love it. Well, I cannot find my eyelash curler. Oh well, I might have left it in Texas. Mom, if you have an extra eyelash curler, it's mine. But I'll get a new one. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So I'm using pure fully charged mascara. Keep in mind I didn't get to curl my eyelashes with this. But I'm just putting this on um, before I put the lashes on that I got also in the Juno box. All right, I'm also gonna use this Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Light Liner. The color is called White Luster. I'm just gonna put this in the um, waterline to brighten my eyes up, make them look bigger, make you focus on my eyes more. So that's it in one waterline, not the other. So what it does, it just brightens it up, makes your eyes look bigger. Lashes. Okay, yeah. These are the lashes by Juno & Co. Really pretty. This is 3D17. Okay, guys, so I just got my lipstick on. I changed it up. I tried doing this guy which dried the shit out of my lips so i switched it and i went to jeffree star the shade um birthday suit and what i did to get um this pink that i wanted was i went with the wet wet and wild lip gloss in shade sinless and you see it's really pretty bubblegum pink so these two together i know they don't look like they go together but I think they're really cute with this look. And they actually make my lips look fuller. Like I got a lip job, which I didn't. So that's cute. So anyway, I think this look came out cute. What do you guys think? What do you think of the products I tried? I actually liked everything but the bra stuff. It was all a hit. So I look forward to trying this stuff in 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want more videos like this or if there's products you would like me to try. Let me know. Comment below what they are and I'll see if I can afford them. <laughs> and I'll check them out and see if I can do a review. All right. Love you guys. Don't forget you can't spell original without Gina. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.